This is a quick video over the different types of transporters. Transport. I'm actually break up this word. Port means carry, and trans means across. So when you see transport, that means carry across. So if you have a membrane, which transporters help carry stuff across, and we're going to fill it in with our hydrophobic area. We'll make the hydrophobic area blue. So now we'll have our transporters. We'll have one right there, one right there, and of course one right there. Now we'll have our little molecules that are crossing. And our other different types of molecules. So, with this, the first one we'll discuss is one that carries just one across. And this is called a uniporter. Uniport. And it means one. So you carry just one across. The two over here, these will be code transporters. Co transport. Porters. So the first one we'll discuss, they'll grab this little white dot, or white molecule, and at the same time they'll also grab this blue molecule. They have to be grabbed at the exact they have to be the molecules, these two molecules, the white one and the blue one, have to be interacting with this with this transporter at the same time for either one of them to cross that transporter. And it is called a antiporter. Antiport. Where this one, it will grab a white one and a blue one, and they will both be carried across the membrane together. And this is a symport. So antiport, you're carrying two things from opposite sides across at the same time. So the white one's going from the top to the bottom and the blue one's going from the bottom to the top. While the symporter is, they're both being carried across. So anti actually means, uh, anti means opposite, and port means carry. Sim means with, and port again means carry. Co also means with. Trans means a cross. Again, and port just means carry. I don't know if you can see those, but <clears throat> these are the different types of transporters. And this is transporters in a nutshell, very basic. The only thing I would add is that symport and antiport porters are also known as secondary active. Secondary active transporters. And I'll explain that in the next video.